Hello everyone, I am Brian Choi, the Bio Product Manager of Park Systems. And today we would like to introduce you to the Park Bio SPM NX Bio Nanoscale Microscope for Biology and Life Science. The power of NX Bio comes from combining three microscopies in one platform. Non invasive in liquid imaging for soft biological sample of scanning ion conductance microscopy SICM is the most advantageous and outstanding technology of NX Bio. Even the automatic running mode allows bio researchers to observe nanoscale physiological morphology in easy and fast. NX Bio also has AFM for biological research, which is used for fluid imaging small molecules such as DNA and protein, utilizing AFM's high resolution. An another important function is measuring mechanical property of a biological object by using force distance spectroscopy. Thirdly, in NXBio, researchers can use phase contrast and DIC imaging of inverted optical microscope, which is helpful to find the sample position. Additionally, the advanced applications of IOM, such as fluorescence microscopy or confocal microscopies, are available together with SICM or AFM. Let me explain how NXBio looks like and how it works. Giving a close look inside acoustic enclosure, at first we can see inverted optical microscope combined with motorized XY sample stage. At the center of the XY sample stage, Faraday cage covers XY scanner and Z head. Opening it, we can see XY scanner and Z head. XY scanner and Z head both are motorized and controllable with simple click in software. NSBio has a new compact design Z head. Lower noise Z detector is aligned into the both SICM and AFM head. Especially for better SICM performance, the current amplifier is embedded into SICM head. In this time, we are going to demonstrate SICM cell imaging operation. SICM uses a glass nanopipette as a sensitive proof based on an electrode inside. For SICM imaging, the nanopipette must be ready first. To detect the current signal, the glass nanopipette should be filled with electrolyte normally with the PBS, then assemble it with the pipette holder. Next, open Faraday cage from XY stage. Place a sample petri dish that contains biosample in buffer at the center of XY scanner. And connect bath electrode which apply electrical voltage to buffer. Then install the pipette holder on SICM head. And plug one side of a cable to the pipette holder, the other side cable and into SICM head. At last, place the Faraday cage back to block external static. From now on, SICM imaging can be operated with the software control. In the monitor, there is the inverted optical microscopy view that shows the optical sample image. And in the SICM operating software, there is a SICM image view window and SICM line scan data window. In below, the reference ionic current is monitored in real time, which flows through nanopipette and opening. In stage control panel, we can determine pipette position, sample position, and Z head position. By clicking Z stage control icon, bring down Z head until SICM pipette end got immersed into the buffer. When SICM pipette touches the surface of a buffer, ionic current signal is appeared about 900 picoampere per 100 millivolt. After that, by controlling XY sample stage position, adjust the pipette end to the center of the optical view. And then simply mark the position of a pipette end in the optical view. The next step is to find the scanning position. 
To do so, objective lens should be focused on the sample. By clicking XY scanner position panel, locate the pipette end position to the sample you want to measure. Once you've found the scanning position, bring further down the pipette end to near the sample surface. After bringing down the pipette end near the cell surface, engage SICM pipette to the cell surface by applying a proper set point. After that, in the setup menu, we can activate ARS mode. and then apply the scan size we want to measure into the software. As I see ARS mode start to collect the sample surface, see height position data. Now, in line scan window, we can see the first line scan data of cell surface. Once checked the SISM scanning forward and backward in line match each other correctly, we can apply skip scan to skip one of the scan direction to increase imaging speed. Clicking start button starts non-invasive cell imaging. Briefly, let me explain how ARS mode works. ARS mode is an automatically programmed and scanning mode for SICM, where the nanopipette approaches and confirms the sample position and then retract and refreshes its reference current pixel by pixel. In ARS mode, the SISM shows excellent capability for cell and soft sample imaging in liquid, achieving effective feedback against extremely complicated and unstable cell surface structures, and resulting in reliable and repeatable image quality. The best part is, sophisticated parameter control is not necessary for entire imaging process. Continuous cell membrane imaging at the same position with SICM enables to observe a natural behavior of microvilli like small features on cellular membrane. Because SICM does not interrupt the cell's nature by not applying any physical force on it, we can record and monitor cell membrane's morphological changes over time. After SICM imaging is completed, the data is saved as a TIFF format, contains three-dimensional morphological information of cell. From data analysis procedure, we can observe how it looks like with zoom in and out and in different direction view, and obtain structural property such as size, width, length, and even cell volume also can be calculated. Combining fluorescence microscopy data with SICM image in image overlay software provides more chance to understand the deeper level of a biological study. While monitoring external cell surface morphology with SICM, the internal cell behavior can be compared from fluorescence microscopy data or high resolution confocal microscopy image. So far, we have completed the NX Bio demonstration. I hope through this demonstration you were able to fully understand the benefit of NX Bio for your research. 
At Park Systems, we always want to supply the best solution for your bio research by providing appropriate knowledge of nanotechnology that we have gained over 20 years of experience as an innovative leader of nano research microscope manufacturer. We believe in challenging the status quo of biology and life science to improve the capabilities of bio research. We have done this with the NX Bio by creating a user-oriented application that is simple to use, providing a practical solution. We will keep developing and upgrading NX Bio to continue helping and supporting your research. Thank you very much.